Now, China's National People's Congress has just wrapped up its annual session in Beijing. Nearly 3,000 deputies spent the past 11 days scrutinizing the government's work. Some documents have been modified at lawmakers' persistence, and on the last day, they passed these documents, including government and judicial work reports, which lay out the work plan for the year ahead, central and local budgets, as well as amendments to the legislation law. Now, deputies say they're pleased to see their participation make a difference, but believe there's still room for improvement. CCTV reporter Ayang brings us the story. After 11 days' intense deliberation, Chinese lawmakers cast their vote on a series of important documents. All were approved, but not without changes. The lawmakers' scrutiny resulted in over a dozen major modifications in the final version of the government's work plan and the legislation law amendment. Promoting the rule of law and fighting graft home and abroad have won applause for China's judicial reform. But not everyone is content. Among the documents, the work reports from China's top judicial bodies received the most dissenting votes, respectively at 213 and 284, out of nearly 3,000 votes. As a lawyer myself, I think judicial transparency through case-by-case -case tracking online and correction of wrong convictions are highlights of the two work reports. There are dissenting votes, but I think this means lawmakers hold high standards for China's judicial systems and have cast their votes according to their own will. The judicial work reports speak on the country's ability to bring justice. They get more dissenting votes than the other documents every year. Nevertheless, there has been a significant drop in that number in the past two years. Uh, the opinion of the people is crucial to our work. We hope our efforts will bring satisfaction and we will keep trying until we reach that goal. In the work report of the Supreme People's Court, we used few words for our self-assessment. Instead, we used real cases and numbers to illustrate what has been done. To date, it has been the most detailed work report ever presented to lawmakers. Deputies passed up other documents such as the MPC's own work report and the budget report. I think the budget report is quite difficult to deliberate on for a lot of deputies. Although it came with another report specifically made for analysis, it's still very difficult for people outside the field to try to understand everything within such a short time. I hope there will be relevant training for deputies in the future so we can better scrutinize it. In response to the concerns, the top legislator made solemn promises, acknowledging NPC deputies' power to supervise the government and to speak on behalf of the people. The National People's Congress consists of deputies across a number of sectors. It's an important channel through which the country and its people communicate. We must maintain and develop this channel and ensure the NPC hears the people's voices, speaks on behalf of them and receives their supervision. For the past two weeks, China's lawmakers frequented the Great Hall of the People, put forward motions and suggestions, familiarized themselves with a number of important documents, all in the spirit of executing their right to supervise the country's governance and represent the people. Now it's time for them to go home and return to their respective fields. But their words and influence will remain to guide the country's development. Ai Yang, CCTV, Beijing.